Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Back with another power review. You know how we do it, house yes. rules, no drama, all that. We would be respectful to us and everybody in the comments section. We had someone at last week that didn't really understand why we give this disclaimer. Probably because by the time y'all get to the comments, we don't took and deleted all the craziness. Yeah. We don't get a lot, but we get enough that I'm like, mm -mm, we don't, we don't, especially we don't do on here. this review. Yeah, we don't do that. What here. had happened was we good for debates. We good for people going down in the comment section, not really getting along. But when you get disrespectful, when you calling people out their name, MFs, you black B, this, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We be, we will be respectful to everybody in our house. Exactly. We call our channel our house and y'all are our family members. Now, so if somebody come into our house disrespecting other family members, there's a problem. You're going to get kicked out the house. Yep. You got to bounce. All. You got to bounce. That's yeah. all. So but, we can we can debate all about the show. Oh, yeah. That's what we here for. Yeah, we bought the show, but no personal attacks. We don't yeah. do that. We don't do that. And another thing, this week, power reviews for the rest of the season have been leaked. Yeah. So unless you've been living under a rock and you're not connected to social media, you don't know that. But for all of us, we do know that. And the thing about it is, it's a bittersweet thing because now we're not, we can't even predict things. Like me, I don't go through and look at the um, internet and see who's going to be in the next episode, who ain't, to see you know, who's going to be killed off. I don't do that because I like to be surprised with the rest of us. Yeah. So now we know what the hell is going to happen. So we're going to try to do this review as if we don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let go. Let's go. And uh, before I get started, we keep on forgetting to tell y'all, check out our vlog channel too, Life With Us TV. Oh, yeah. It's going to be in the panic section like uh, Lady Nika <laughs> say. Let's go and click that button going over there. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. And that way you can find more about us and what we do on a daily basis. We don't post as much over there as we do over here, but we yeah. do try to post as much as we can with the time that we have Show left in our 24 hours a day. All right, we don't spend enough time on that. It's done. It should have been. It's let's call a war. Call a war. I can say this was a pretty good episode. I, you I think so? Yeah, I think it was pretty good. But I know at this point they rushing along because they mm. only got a few more episodes because they got to get all that in there so we can get a good season finale. So I understand that. I understand. I understand. So at this point, Tommy is all in his feelings. He mad because of him and Dad's. Cartel Jimenez. Yeah, I so said don't yeah. put that D in there. Uh, I just I don't know. I think I know somebody named him in there. That's why we do. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> what, that's what it is. Yeah, so I get it wrong. Charge to the head, not the heart, like they say in church. But uh, Tommy is feeling because they hadn't got back with him about the deal because he ready to set up shop, get his drugs moving. So he want to start a war. So he was talking to Dre. Was like, you know what, Dre? Get the fellas ready. Make sure everybody's strapped up because we about to go to war. Dre, you know Dre, he didn't agree with it, but of course, he gonna go along and get along. So he said, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to my crew. I'm ready. I'm with it. We're getting strapped up. We gotta do what we gotta do. It's time for war. So we see Dre going over to the restaurant. I don't understand why in the world they inside a freaking bar discussing war in the streets of getting guns, getting strapped up. Like people don't eavesdrop on people's conversations at the goddamn restaurant. I didn't even realize that. I thought they yeah. was in the back of somewhere else. Nah, they was at the restaurant. At the bars. Everybody, let me tell you. Everybody even listen. though I like I ain't paying attention. I'm bad But if you say something that sparks my interest, no. I'm going to forget about all the people at my table. Be like, and my ears going to be right on your account. Especially you talking about killing somebody. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just going to make sure you ain't talking about trying to kill me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so... Dre crew was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't what we want. This ain't what we signed up for. We signed up to work with y'all to make a little bit of bread to take care of our family and our kids. We ain't never said nothing about signing up for this war against the Jimenez freaking cartel. Because, first of all, I don't think we can win. You can't. They, their organization is a ten times bigger as ours. They crazier than we are. So why in the world did we want to start a war with them? Dre was like, I understand. I don't want to go to work. I know what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. But it's time is called, and we work for him. So if he calls? He calls. We, we got, got the call. move. That's that's the rules to the game. So mm -hmm. I got to understand what they're saying. Because, corporate America? Yeah, like corporate America, <laughs> they make these huge decisions. And we got to go with it. And you got to go with it, even you disagree with it. It sucks. Yep. Yes, it sucks. So, oh, did you want anything? Let me keep on, keep the ball rolling. Uh... So, uh, we see a meeting with, um, freaking Tommy and Ghost. So, Ghost had found out about Tommy wanting to go to war with him and his. 
So at this point, Ghost ain't got time for the bullshit, like Mike B said. He ain't got time because he's trying to protect his image. He's trying to get this new business going with this real estate because he's trying to come back on, t on top of the game, going straight so he can make money the right way. You know, he don't want to make money through the drugs no more. So he want to have a legitimate club and legitimate real estate business. So he go to time and be like, why is you starting a war with them? We can we can pretty much get this deal done without, without a war. Yeah. You and, know. And Tommy was like, listen, if you think that your ideas and your plans are much better than mine, <laughs> then maybe it's time to get your little baby seal eyes and them pretty <laughs> little hands dirty and go to this here meeting with yeah. me so we can negotiate a real deal since you think you know what you're talking about. So I said, God darn. Ghost got to get back in the game even if he don't yeah. want to. Every I mean, time. Every time. Every time. Tasha did it. Yep. Now Tommy did it. <laughs> so this, this is the part of trivia. So Tommy says, so you won't go letting me know that um, Tony <laughs> Terrence basically wanted me to call him because he wanted to tell me that he's my daddy? He said, I kind of figured it out, but... Yeah, but... I ain't really had nothing about, solid. Yeah, but what about this war? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't war? care nothing about that. Because he said this ain't a, what he said, this ain't good for my image this right now. This ain't good for my image. Yeah. I said, here we go with this my again. Mm -hmm. Selfish. Mm -hmm. Don't care nothing about nobody else. Nope. It's all about me. He did it with Tasha too. Yep. Thank you for what you did for me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't leave my family. I, I left, left you. you. But now you need me. Yeah, now you need me to help get your image back straight. I would have got on that live broadcast, boy. I would have had pictures, phone logs, I would have had everything. I would have had the media wanting to like me so much that they wouldn't care nothing about me helping him do all that bullshit. No, you probably got on there like you was all cool, calm, and collected. At and, first. And at the height of the day, going yeah. you start acting like you tore up and may throw your wig upside, throw your wig off. Oh, and, yeah. You know, snatch all your makeup off, and I'm crazy uh -huh. as hell. So my center off <laughs> braids be showing. Be like, I got hair now. Don't play. Don't play a player. Huh? Yeah, speaking of hair, you know, y'all be talking about y'all say her hair the bomb. Don't forget, she's selling hair, man. The hair she got yes, here, she's God. selling. And hey, that's going to be in the panty section, too. Mm -hmm. Look, fellas, you, hey, if you want to get much puss, stop playing. <laughs> order some of that hair right there. If you need help with picking it out, she'll help you with that, too. Just go and hit us with the email. The email down there, you need some help. We got you straight. But anyway. Naga. Uh. Then we see, yo, I'm, I keep on wanting to call him Councilman Tay Diggs. Because of, of, <laughs> of Empire. But it's... Councilman Rashad Tate, Mr. Tate, uh, set up the meeting with Ghost. And so before he started telling the biz, he said, I got somebody I want to include in this right here because I wanted to bring in somebody that you helped off the street, got them back on their feet. They're wearing a suit and a trench coat. You know, they going <laughs> straight. So I got to go and bring them on in. And guess who it was? Dre. Dre the dinosaur. Hey. I said, Dre is like God doing MasterCard everywhere you, you want to be. be. I said, what the hell is happening here? And he looking at Dre like, what, what the, the fuck is you doing? I said, you know what, right there. So, so, Councilman, uh, uh, Rashad, yeah, no. on, I, 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 Rashad Tate, Councilman. Start to tell Ghost what his plan is. He said, pretty much what we want to do here in Queens, we want to pretty much build up this community, bring in businesses um, where the people in the community can own the businesses. And if they don't own the businesses, we can set it up where they can benefit off the services. You know, like gyms, mm -hmm. uh, fitness. You have anything that, that they need, doctor's offices, education, boys girls, colleges, yeah. boys and girls, so that pretty much this community community can be self-sufficient. We ain't got to go out of Queens. We can be everything we need can be right here, centralized. Like a guy, we know that. We need everything to be <laughs> centralized. <laughs> what else is? <laughs> so Ghost was like, hey, Sign me up. I'm with it. Anything to pretty much help the community where I grew up at, I'm in. I'm in. But councilman was like, we have one problem. Drugs. Quick as we get this thing set up, the drug game is going to knock it right on back down. Ghost was like, you know what? Hey, we can handle that. We can definitely take care of that. At the same time, he eyeballing Dre like, we the problem. Because <laughs> yeah. basically, what had happened was, Way back when, remember when he, <laughs> Julio, Lord, Julio. Man. The corners that are the problem are the corners that they basically traded off for Julio's life. Yeah. So the seven, seven one eights. Yeah. They got all that on lock basically because of Ghost and Tommy. Yep. So I'm sitting here like, 
you listening to how to correct the problem with you the problem. Yep, you the problem. Ain't that usually how So you the, be... you the problem, and then you come along and offer the solution. And acting like you the hero. <laughs> and you created it in the first Look, place. Who knows how to better solve a problem? Sound like our government, don't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they create the problem, and, and then they, they offer you the solution. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, then we see ghosts. They set up the meeting with the Jimenez <laughs> cartel. So, Ghost pretty much tell them, pretty much, we got the upper hand. Mm -hmm. And the street, pretty much our organization is built upon respect. When we lose and respect, uh, respect and fear. Money, cars, houses, hoes, whatever you want to name it, that don't make no difference. But that respect. So, pretty much, you either give us what we want, or we're going to tell the streets that you didn't kill Lobos. So he took and threw one of their cars out there, was saying pretty much, this is where you get your respect from. You know, y'all got a whole lot of bodies underneath mm -hmm. these cars. Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds of bodies underneath these cars. So pretty much, we can throw y'all out there as a fraud. Mm -hmm. And the person that really did kill Lobos would be the person that really need to be fed yeah. in these streets. Exactly. And we know that's me and Tommy. So he get pissed off and slammed down his 14 karat gold gun. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And his well, his wife was she she was like, let me let look, put that back. Put that gun away. That's his wife, that's his sister. Well his sister. I think. I guess. Whatever. Whatever. But anyway. No, ain't mad like might be said. So. Um so Tommy was like, hey, hey, you can kill us. But you think we don't got a plan B? So in other words, you kill us, the information's still gonna get out. Mm -hmm. And you still gonna be a fraud. So you still gonna be a fraud and your organization is gonna be destroyed. Now, this is the thing that trippy out is Tommy would have never been able to hold down a meeting like that. Nope. That's why he needs ghosts. He needs and ghosts, ghosts need help. They balance each other. They do. You know, because Tommy just a half a step crazier than ghosts. But yeah. ghosts is still crazy, but he got the business with the crazy. Yeah. He so he know how to. Through. He, I'm not going to call him a crackhead. He's just good at manipulating and getting deals. Yeah, he, ain't a, he don't do crackhead moves. Yeah. He just, he's a master manipulator. Master manipulator. Because he, he, he figure out how he got the upper hand on you to present that to you to get what he want. And most time he get what he want. So he told him, you know what? You got 24 hours, seven days a week. Not seven days a week. But you got 24 hours <laughs> to let us know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. To let us know um, if the deal is done. If not, the information is going to be out in the streets. So they was like, dang. Mm -hmm. Give you something to think about, huh? <laughs> so then we uh see Dre, of course, the snake, slithers back his way back on in. Dre gotta go, y'all. To yeah, talk go. <laughs> he gotta go. He, he come at set up another meeting with the Jimenez. And pretty much he was telling the crew, I hope that some good and merit can come out this meeting. I'm hoping that when we come out this meeting, all these problems are gonna be over with. You so, get what you want, I get what I want. So hey come Dre, he was like, okay, what you want? He said, I know how I can hand over Thomas' whole organization to you without a war. He said, I'm listening. He said, I got connections to 20 of the best hotels plus the nightclubs that I can push your drugs through, bringing more paper to your organization. The only thing I want in exchange, I want to be the biggest drug dealer in New York City. Say, because Thomas people don't even trust him. Yeah. They trust me. And they'll follow me. So he confirmed with the, um, uh, uh. To, uh, what is it? What is, what's his name? Crystal? Is it, I, can't, I can't think of his name right now. Don't him mind. and the Taurus Locals do. And they was like, yeah, we'll yeah, find sure. a drag. So they was like, hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and give Tommy and Ghost their deal. And we'll think about your deal. No, nah, he said, no. Nah, oh, what did he say? No, nah, he said, he said, we're going to go ahead and give, give Tommy and them their deal to buy you some time to get that hotel stuff set up. Oh, yeah. And they yeah. said, if you screw us, then I'll kill you my goddamn I'm going to kill you myself. That's a kill. <laughs> Do it now, please. But he 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 trying to deliver them something big, so I don't, you know. But at the same time, I don't understand why in the world Dre's crew trusts him when he see him, see him pretty much stabbing Ghost and Tommy in the back. So I'm oh, like, yeah. once you see somebody dig somebody else in the back or stab him in the back, and they weren't trying to befriend you, you you is next on the list. That's how the the, um, the Herman as girl said. She said. So you turn your back on your connect. Why yeah. should we trust you? Yeah, why should we trust you? And he was yeah. like, listen, I'm just trying to be the biggest drug dealer. Yep. Point taken. Exactly. So if you try to do that to your boys, wouldn't y'all think that y'all would be next that he's going to try to off? Exactly. To get further in the organization. I don't know. <laughs> 
So then we see in the episode, um, this is kind of the beginning of the episode, so we kind yeah, of we ain't going in order. Yeah, we try to bring it all together. We see Raina um come and presents Tasha with the uh the paperwork she go or the pamphlet to go to that school in Connecticut. And Tasha was like, you know, why you why you wanna go over there? She was like, you know, I think it's a better opportunity. Got what she said, better science. science class. Class. She don't care nothing about no science. She looked at And Keisha looking at her like she was like, this is bulls. <laughs> and at the same time, I think that Tasha was getting ready to tell Keisha about her sleeping around with um what the name? Terry. Terry Ugh, oh, Silver. But Raina came in there with the bruises on her arm and yeah. that piece of paper and that pamphlet. And her mama was like, hold on, wait a minute. Well, what, what happened, happened to you? you? Oh, so I bumped somebody at school. Her brother over there looking like, like you better, you better not, not tell it. You better not tell it. You I better not tell it. it. But it's kind of crazy that she just let her go with that. Be like, she got a big bruise like that. I mean, that's yeah. a like, yeah. like domestic yeah, violence. Yeah. <laughs> you don't bump nobody like that and get no bruise like that. No. Say you got a little <laughs> bit of color to you too. It take a little bit for us to bruise up like that. Yeah, and I'm like, y'all in there get ready to run y'all mouth in front of Tariq? The one that's been lying, cheating, stealing? Behind you your back? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so then later on in the episode, we see Tariq texting this guy named Brain. She was like, what the hell is this? And how did he get connected with them? I I, I don't know. Maybe it was through, maybe it was this guy with jukebox. I, I don't know. It, it don't matter. So pretty much they set up a game to rob this white lady. So pretty much Tariq go to the door and act like he was selling candy. Which made me real suspect now because if a kid come to my door selling candy, I ain't gonna let him in. Ain't that crazy? Cause last year that happened. <laughs> that last year that happened. But them them boys, man, they pitched a line that we bought candy, we bought cookies, cupcakes, cupcakes. We just bought all kind of stuff because they pissed that thing. Oh, they pissed that thing. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Um But let me tell you this, I'm gonna put a plug in here right here. The dad that pissed me off. The kids were straight with me. But how you can see, bad thing, the good thing about it is, I grew up in a neighborhood where I know how to handle people. Even if I might have a little fear about you, you ain't never going to know it because I'm going to handle my own. I'm yeah. on my own. They're going to pull up right right behind me as I'm getting out of my truck to get, um, come in from work. The daddy got a wife beater on. Yeah. <laughs> he had his t-shirt on like he was trying to dress right at first and it got hot. Yeah. So he had his freaking t-shirt on on top of his head. Uh-huh. <laughs> pulled over like this and had a little knot in it. With his pants hanging down with his boxers showing. And I'm sitting here like, your kids out here trying to do real good. Like, they even had a website set up and everything. Yeah, it's like, good. If you don't trust me, you can, you know, go through the website. And I knew the website. You yeah. know, it had a little code for whatever kid that gets them, you know, get the money. And I'm sitting here like, but your daddy over here looking like he need to be in the program, though. Yeah. <laughs> Could you catch another ride the next time? Matter of fact, he better be lucky that we won't want no white folk because they would have called the cops because they was full of guards. They look real crazy. Yeah, because they rolled up in the freaking suburban too. With rims With on. With rims on and everything. Yeah. We got to do battle, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so even like Tariq was telling me in the car when he was trying to out there fixing up and stuff like that. He was like, nigga, what the heck? Well, nigga. 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 Yeah, because y'all don't even want to hear that. But <laughs> nigga. What is you doing? He was like, you know, I live in a neighborhood like this. You know, I can't fit. I need to look the park so they can let me in the house. And he was like, I, I told you, you know what he's doing. He good. So, yeah, he good. So pretty much when he, they said when you get in the house, look around, make sure nobody there but the lady, and you come out there, give us a nod, we come on in. So he went in there. He pissed that he's on the swimming team. He do 100 meters forward, 100 meter butterflies. And you know he he, he he good at it. But um, you know what? she was like, well, my son is good at swimming. He left it when he went to college. Come on in. I buy some candy for you. Uh, ain't got no money. Let me go get that for you. So she coming back with the money. Here they come. Boom, 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 boom. They punch the reek, slap her. He run to take her upstairs. The guy told Tariq was like, I didn't mean to hit you, dog. I had to make it look real. Bulls kid. And you could you could have pushed him on the floor. And he Tariq was looking like this is bulls kid. Y'all ain't what yeah, I signed up yeah, for. Y'all using me. So the dude said, "Get up, man." He said, "We're going upstairs. We're getting. We can get this. You go ahead and run. We can hit you up later." And Tariq was like, "Something don't sound right about this." So he decided going upstairs, and we see the dude up there trying to rape the white lady. I said, "No, we not doing this. We are not yeah, doing a Tyler no, Perry today." No, no. So. Brains was telling the other dude, no, don't do that, man. Don't do that. So by this time, Tariq was like, Brains, don't let him do that. And they pulled him out and said, you should never did that. And they ended up shooting the lady. 
Because it called his name out. Yeah. So in other words, if he raped that lady, he was leaving all kind of DNA. What's going to lead right back to them? <sighs> we need to do better. <laughs> we, we, no, we, we don't need to do better. <laughs> not with that. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying. It's like, if you're going to be a criminal, be, be a good one. Be a good one. Get in there, get the cash, get out and run. And just hope you don't get locked up. But Tariq. He saw that by the time they turned around, he shot that lady. Tariq was gone, boy. Tariq don't he in the court. He should have said he was on the track team because that near drug was running. <laughs> so he hit around the corner. They texted him and calling him, hit me up, blah, 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 Because they don't want him to rat him out. That's what that pretty much is. And that's so, going to lead up to next week. Yeah, that's going to lead up next week. So then we see Tariq coming back home. He tried to go past that off real fast. You know, when you want your parents to see, you go back there real fast. And Ghost is like, Tariq. When you out, been out of the court, she was like, yeah, I've been out there, you know, shooting hoops with the boy. And Tariq was like, you know that college over in Connecticut? That school. That school out there in Connecticut? He said, um. I might be interested. I might be interested. Yeah. Interested. yeah. yeah he he want to get out, he wanna get out of town because he don't want them boys to get at him. That's what that is. He said, we talking about that later, son. You know, going up there, wash up. Do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, do, it, do what you got to do. Uh, where we at? So. Tommy. Now we see, uh, yeah. Tommy. He goes to confront his mama about Tony Toretti. So he go there, mama over there listening to some Haley Jackson, the gay. No shade. <laughs> but she had her spirituality going on. She was in the having church. Little. She was having church all by herself in communion. So <laughs> Tommy come in there and say, Ma, uh, do you know uh, Tony Toretti? She was like, mm, I don't ring a bell. She said, well, who my daddy? Yeah, he was like, who my daddy? She said, we done been through this before. He did. He did. He, 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 before you, when you were little, he left us all by himself, put us in a bad situation. We had to get on welfare. We had to go down to the goddamn center to get food because he left us. So we started getting government checks, and that's the end of the story, and he dead. He said, where y'all meet at then? He said, where y'all meet at? And she yeah. told him the exact location. So he was like, huh. And she was like, well, maybe he know about the redheads and the red, because maybe, you know, he, he knew somebody that knew somebody that knew me. Mm -hmm. Knew your daddy and now there's some mess going on. Yeah. But stay away from this dude. So, Tommy was like, okay. Most but good. you know, Tommy, when something in his head, head he think it's right, he going to prove it. You guilty in his head until you prove him innocent. Hmm. So we see later in the episode, he goes over to uh, Karen. What's her name? Karen? I can't remember what her name is. Was it Karen? It don't matter. Tony's yeah. wife. Tony's wife house. And so he was like, he could act like he come there looking for what name? Shy or whatever. It don't whatever. matter. It don't even matter. And she was like, well, I sent him to the store. Uh, she but, looked good too. Yeah, but come on in because Thomas said, you look good. She did. She didn't like she had look, cancer no more. No, because she been hitting them treatments from yeah, that money. Yep. Hey. <laughs> and she said, you want some? He said, uh, he got in the water. So by this time, Tommy, he looking, he see the picture photos. He see some photos. He was like, uh, it's that Tony right there, so he look good. Some, she said, I got some whiskey too. Yeah, he said, she, he said it's even better. So she gave him some Jameson whiskey, but this time he reached down inside the freaking cabinet, got the, got the uh, photo book. You and know, the big through, one. Yeah, the big one flipped through there a couple of times and seen a picture of Toretti himself. Oh. Uh, but what had gave the picture away was the location. Yeah, the location. He took that picture out there, slid it on in his little leather coat, I told you. <laughs> No matter how hot it is, how cold it is. So by this time, Tommy rushes back over to Mama, confronts her again, and be like, what is this right here? Then she, uh, 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 He said, this uh, is me. This is me right here in this, this picture. This our old house. Yeah. This is my daddy holding me. Tell yeah. me what. Riddle me that. So she went on here to spill the beans. Basically, yep. he was dead to me because he left us, left us alone. But leave this dude alone. Yeah. yeah, she takes her happy black, I mean white. What? <laughs> I could call her black, but she did a black move right there. Her happy white tail over there to the jail. I thought it was going to be Tommy. Yeah. She gets her hit to rest and say, hey, you looking just you as looking good, good as, as I back? remember. Yeah, I'm glad you came over here. Ah, if only I could Whee! reach out. If only I could reach out and touch you, uh -huh. but I can't. <laughs> she said, listen here, we had a deal. You leave my son to buck along. He's sitting over there looking like... He said, first of all, one thing that you know about me, I might be behind these bars, but it ain't never a good idea to threaten me, dog. I said, ooh, okay. Same. And she left about that. She said, listen, leave my son alone. Don't contact him no more. I said, oh, uh -huh. okay, we're going to see how this works out. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But he out. didn't have to. <laughs> 
So now we get to the freaking meat and potatoes of the God Darn episode. Oh gosh. I think what we all been waiting for. So in other words, to, to make a long story short, we saw um, uh, Sack get ready to get in the cab. Hey, go Mike come in and say, hey, uh, Mark want to have a meeting with me by himself. Did, he, did you have a meeting with him? Did y'all talk? He was like, no. I, you know, he ain't confront me, so we good. So Mike was like, by this time, Mike is nervous because he know he about ready to go down. All the calls is leading back to his house. Mm -hmm. So he was like, uh, but we still on the same team. We still good, you know. Still working together. You know, we still working together. You Sachs scratch my like, back, I scratch yours. Yeah. So Sax was like, yeah, we, yeah, we good. We, we all good. But I got to go. But Talk I got to, to go. Talk to you later. So by this time, we seen um, Ghost run up in the car and jump in there with Proctor <laughs> and confront him about Mock being in his house. And so pretty much Ghost want to find out, can I still trust you? Because I know you got info on me. I got info on you. You said the recordings and all that bullshit. Nobody is left. I want to make sure all that is clear. Because hey, I don't want you to go to feds and then this thing, you know, I, we be locked up for your bullshit. So Proctor was like, if... If I if I could have did that by now, if I wanted to do that, I could did that by now, and I could be in protective custody. So Ghost is looking like good point. So they ended like we can trust each other. We got it going on. We just need to figure out what we need to do next. So by this time, we see uh, Proctor and uh, no 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 Sax and um Sax and Mike yeah yeah Sax and Mike were at the bar. So Sax started spilling the beans to Mike about their meetings that they had over at Angela's at apartment. Angela house. And I was and I like, said, what? I said, you mother sucker. No, you didn't go back and tell him all the information they had stacked up against him. You, you, but there's hope <laughs> on the other side <laughs> of this story. <laughs> we was all wrong. So then we see Mike. Go over to Angela. So we know I said, oh, he going skip. over there to kill. Because he got to take out any person that know any information. So he sit down and he said, I want to come and talk to you because I found out that you think that I am the mole. You think I killed Greg. Well, Angela was like, well, I got a whole lot of evidence stacked up against you, player. She showed him picture number one. You was right here. Picture number two. You was right here. All roads lead back to you killing Greg. He was like, well, you don't understand. She was like, what did Lobos have on you for you to work with him? He was like, you don't understand. Hmm. He threatened to kill my daughter. She was like, okay, so now we need to figure out what we need to do next. Mm -hmm. So he was like, well, I had to do what I had to do. But pretty much right now, to make a long story short, I need to do what I need to do now. I need to take you out. So by this time, we see that Angela is wearing a freaking wire and the crew is in the, in the freaking uh, van listening to everything what's going on out there. And he giving a full confession. He giving a full confession. Of what he did. And at the moment where he was getting ready to tell Angela's bullshit, she reached in her pocket and pulled that wire out. Uh huh. Because he was like, You're, I, I didn't work alone. And I'm not the yeah. only guilty party here. Yeah, you and was in on so, it too. Uh, they was like, what happened? What the connection? Get the connection back together. Yeah, so by this time, when they was talking, Donovan, um, uh, Mark said, did we just hear him give a confession? And Donovan said, yes. Let's go in. Let's go get him. He was like, no, we need more. He was like, no, the last time I waited, a good man got killed. No, we going in right now. So by this time, they marching on there. I said, they coming in there awful slow. Because you the FBI, they... Couple seconds, they boom, knocking your door down. And as loud as they're walking up them stairs, you mean tell me, yeah, I ain't hear nothing in them cheap doors, <laughs> through them cheap doors. So by this time, uh, uh, Mike trying to kill Angela, execution style, turn you around, shoot you from the back. She was like, well, you know, uh, cause he was like, this is how I gonna go. I'm gonna shoot you. And I'm gonna tell them with self-defense that I came in here to talk to you. You went to reach for my weapon and self-defense, I shot you. She said, well, you know, you shoot me in the back. That's not self-defense. He was like, huh? He, she turned around. Poof. Shot him. But she shot him when she knew he wasn't going to die. He was going to die. And I got a good problem with this right here. Yeah, tell it. We live in a day and age where the police officers will shoot to kill. Mm-hmm. But you got a police officer that... They killed know, the police officer. Yeah. We, we, cl we clearly know that this ain't real life, right? Because but. in real life, it would have been shoot to kill if mm -hmm. it was one of us, right? Yeah. 
But when it was a police officer against a police officer, I'm going to shoot you where I know you can survive. Mm -hmm. Where we can bandage you up and we can talk to you a little bit later. Why ain't that same tactic um, being when used on, us. on everybody else? Yeah. I yeah. got a problem with that. So she tells him, um, tell them that you're not we said you're not the killer, but you're the, no, you're not a killer, but you're the witness. And I was like, what the hell is happening here? What's happening? Okay, I said, all right, I'm not gonna try to figure it out yet. I'm gonna keep watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we see Angela goes over to uh, Terry and tells Terry that pretty much we got the killer for Greg, and you ain't gonna believe who it was. He who that? It was Mike. He was like, what? The one that took the stand against my, against my, my client? client? He's the one that did it? It's like, darn. And I was thinking to myself, why would Angela go and tell? And then she said, why are you going to tell St. Patrick? Can you go and tell Proctor too? It's like, because that's going to be the only way that he going to find out about this. Yeah. Thing. And I'm sitting here, I'm looking at it. I said, Angela got something up her goddamn sleep. Mm-hmm. Being slick. Uh-huh. But all this happened before before the killing and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, we ain't got to that yet. Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, by this, <laughs> so by this time, Terry put on his suit, his tie, and his freaking trench coat and going over there to visit Ghost Them. So he go over there and he delivered the news to Ghost and Ghost is all smiling. He's like, what? Did he have a turtleneck on? Yeah, he had a turtleneck. He's like, what? I'm off. I'm case being dismissed. You know what? I need to go and call Stern and let him know that we good for business now. Uh, we about to make a million dollars, maybe ten, maybe a hundred million. We good, boy. He was he was excited, boy. Hugging up old Tasha. Uh -huh. And Terry looking like, wait he a looking minute. Like, yeah. Because earlier in the episode, when we first even opened the freaking episode, Terry had got a telephone call and Ghost was at his house. At his house. And I said, oh, oh he yeah. know what's going down. He coming to get you, player. For screwing his wife, balls <laughs> deep, leaving the nuts hanging out there. Like bed. the hogs we said. <laughs> so, but no, he was there because he was saying, um, what, what was he there for? I can't even remember now. Lord, what he was there? I don't even laugh. It don't even matter. <laughs> I can't even remember. He was there for a different reason. And then goes and ends up looking down and seeing the earring. He said, I didn't know you had a lady friend. He said, oh, you know how it is around this part. You know, you know it's a gray, gray area. area. You know, he said, well, my wife knows a good house cleaner. So if you ever need one, you know, I can get a recommendation. I said, she was over there cleaning yeah, the house. Uh -huh, these so. And look, she did a pimp move, but she did one thing wrong. She did a pimp move. She left a little note that said, I had fun last night. You should have left a $5 bill to let him know what it was worth. That would have messed his self-esteem up. <laughs> Not a 20, just a 5. Ooh. And be like, I'll see you later. So while ghosts going down, going somewhere in the back yeah. of the house to celebrate him being off, that leaves Terry and Tosh out there by himself. And they decide they won't have a um A little intimate conversation. About right how they gonna meet up I'm later. Like, I'm in like uh, y'all a little bit too close. Back up, back up, because y'all look guilty right now. I see. But I'm just thinking to myself that that ghost knows. Yeah, he might know. He might know a little something, something. Cause it's very know. odd for him just to show up at his house for a conversation he could have called you about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he gave her back her freaking earring. Said, um, he left something. She was like, Oh, oh skit. Oh, skit. Gotta be more careful next time. Gotta be more careful. Yeah, that's an amateur move for you, Tosh. Mm-hmm. Cause usually you you good at cleaning up tracks. You've been doing it for ghosts for the last well, how long y'all been married? Cleaning up his tracks, but you can't clean up clean up your own. Hello. Huh. So, then we see a scene where Ghost, Proctor, and Tommy having a meeting discussing Mike. So now that Mike is in custody, he was like, we don't know what this model soccer know. He might know that I'm Ghost. He might know that we killed Lobos. He gonna start spilling the beans. He gonna roll over and tell everything he know to make sure that he can get off. Because he ain't going down by himself. Yeah, he gonna take everybody with him. So by this time, they talking. Tommy, have you see Tommy's eyes start to get glossed and he starts staring off in the middle yeah, of nowhere and he takes a drink? Because because Parker said, whatever we need to do, we need to do it within the next 24 hours before because they move him. before they move him to, to protect the custody. Again, that happens in 48 hours. So Tommy takes a drink and says, well, we need to kill him. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. So Ghost was like, how in the hell, Tommy, we supposed to do that? He said... He said, I got an idea to Reddit. Reddit. He was like, uh, 
You think he would do that for us? I don't think he would do that for us. Or if he do, he gonna have some strings attached. Well, Thomas said, well, Ghost, you can go break back up in there and do it yourself. <laughs> he said, pretty much that's our only hope. He said, which is true. Do it, brother. <laughs> true. So yeah, Proctor over there like, hey, let me drink this drink with y'all. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm with it. Let's do it. So then we see Tommy um, get on the phone with Toretti and um, he was like, huh, why it took you so long to get back with me? You know, he'd have been waiting. You know, daddy been waiting. He said, I need some advice. Oh, no, he said, I need some help. He said, I got a problem. He said, well, if it's father advice, I got you. <laughs> said, don't play cards with a guy that's named after the city. Yes, sir. So Tom was like, "There's you got a roommate in there that's not good for me. What's He's, his name? What's the name? He said, uh, you, you're not going to ask me any questions? No. He said, you family. I said, well, I'm like, well, D, I, I need, need some, some people like that. I need a Tony. I need a Tommy. And I need a ghost. <laughs> like, in my life. What? He ain't going to ask no questions. Why? When? What? Where? He's like, huh, I got this. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too much. Two, I said, what the hell? Too goddamn much. So we see uh, Mike in the room getting all bandaged up. They bandaged him up for where he got shot by Angela. He's sitting in there. I said, oh, Lord, it's about to go down. So the doctor leaves out and said, I'll be right back. I got to do such and such and such. I said, that's what's the setup. I said something. Because I'm down. like, he's supposed to be in protective custody. Somebody's supposed to be around him at all times. He shouldn't have been left open like that all by himself. Because all you need is a split second. To take somebody out. And that's all that was needed. That's all that was needed. Then we see uh, another doctor coming there. Because by this time, Mike had his so back cold. turned. And he slid him right here on the main artery. And blood started pouring out like a freaking faucet. And what now? Like a freaking faucet. And what now? Like a freaking faucet. <laughs> Shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike is dead. To the bed. And I was like. That was he, easy. He put. He, that was like a fast food order. Well. Fast food ain't fast food. That was quicker food than no fast food. That was quicker than fast. He put that order in in less than 30 seconds <laughs> it was done. Cooked. The killing was cooked the order. Not cooked the order. It was like it's already was already ordered but cooked before it was ordered. <laughs> he called in that order for pickup. Yeah. And the thing about it, he didn't do it himself. Mm -hmm. Somebody came in and did it, went on about their business. Went on about their business. Gone. And they say we know. Everybody standing over top of dead Mike's body. And Tony get um to, um Tommy gets the call. It's done. It's done. They still sitting in the office, y'all. They still sitting in the office. <laughs> he said, it's done. They said, well, what do he want to return? Nothing. Nothing. I said, the hell he don't. He gonna want a relationship with his son. Uh -huh. uh, something. But I was telling the net, I said, sometimes what happens is when fathers leave their sons or their daughters or kids or whatever you when they come back in their life, when they get older, they try to compensate for what they didn't do in the past. So maybe this was one of Teresa's uh, paybacks to him for not being there for him when he was growing up. So we'll see. I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, so pretty much at the end, we see uh, Councilman Rashad Tate and Ghost sitting in the office talking. He was like, Ghost was like, our little problem with the drugs, it's deal, over. it's over. I got to handle it. So he was like, how in the world did you manage to pull that off? He said, well, I know some people that's in that establishment, and I made a couple phone calls and got that handled. So he think. Yeah, this ain't. But Dre done got that ball back rolling, so all this bullshit is going to blow up, unless they get rid of Dre. And then they got Angela over there looking over Mike's dead body, talking about some. This is for Greg. And I told Stan, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Angela did this. Because Angela conveniently took her happy tail over there to Terry's office to tell Terry to deliver the good news yeah. to St. Patrick. She can't prove that he don't did a whole lot, but she know who she was sleeping with, okay? Exactly. You know the company you keep. Tell him and make sure you tell Proctor. And everybody know that Proctor is a good, crooked lawyer. Real good. Uh-huh. You tell them all that information and let's see if we can get some stuff brewing. <laughs> I said Angela said all this in motion. Yeah, she said you can't ball. make the yeah. only thing that I don't know is do she know that Tony and Teresa are connected? That's the only no, thing. No, Tony and, and uh, Tommy. You said, yeah, you Tony, said Tony and, and Teresa yeah. are connected. Well, both, yeah. <laughs> Tommy and Teresa, do they know do she know that they're connected some kind of way? Because I don't know. even the cops was like, 
nobody else knew that he was here except for us. So, so how did this happen like this? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here like, is this gonna come back on Angela at some yeah. point? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Man. So I'm acting surprised, y'all. You know, you gotta act like you don't know what the end of the season is gonna be. Yeah. So uh, we ain't mean for this to go on this long, but uh. And we tired as hell, y'all. We had a busy weekend. Yeah, we did. But uh, straight from the VA. Dirt, 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 so. Two up, two, two down. Holla.